and grow YouTube show. Maria, so since we're talking about self-care and um, joy has come up a lot with our, our talk today, um, would you like to share about our collaboration? <laughs> yes, Samantha, I've only been waiting like two years to freaking talk about this. Um, and I'm so excited that you're here and that we've decided to kind of roll this out together. So some of podcasters, uh, some podcast listeners might have gotten a hint if you listened to the end of my year end episode in December, but plan friends, I get to finally announce to our community that I wrote a book. <laughs> Yay. So I wrote a book. It's been a two year process. And Samantha illustrated it. Yay! It has been so much fun working with you on this and like to like see or like hear your vision and just to be a part of like your journey with this. It has been a lot of fun getting to know you. Oh my I'm God. I'm so proud of you. Well, I have to say, Samantha, I mean, I was kind of totally starstruck. So the book is called Growing Joy, The Plant Lover's Guide to Cultivating Happiness and Plants. And it's actually a self-care book. So it's not a gardening book. There is a plant care appendix in the back that Leslie Halleck was my horticulture advisor on. It's a fantastic plant care section, but the whole book itself is all about my journey, figuring out how to use plant care as a self-care and self-development tool. I got the opportunity to work on the book. I was approached to write this book in May of 2020. So I've literally been working on this thing for almost two years. And the minute that I started talking to my editor about this book, I was like, I got this intuitive hit. I was meditating and I got, cause in the beginning of the creation of this book and evaluating if I even wanted to write it, I did a lot of meditating to try and figure out like what it would be because this editor just approached me to see if I thought I would be interested in writing about self-care and plant care. Um, and I got this intuitive hit that I was like, oh my God, if I could get Samantha from Hemleva to illustrate this book, it would be so epic. <laughs> Yay. You were the first person I thought of, but I also was like, yeah, but Samantha's a really big dog in the plant space. Now she's got so many followers on Instagram. I know that she's so busy. She's doing so many collaborations. Cause at that point you had also started doing a lot of collaborations and announcing mm -hmm. them. And you were collaborating with these really big fancy people. And I was like, I remember having a talk with my editor about it being like, I really don't think Samantha's going to be able to say yes, but I really want to ask her. I really want to see. So like before usually a publisher goes and finds the illustrator without your input. And I doubled down and was like, no, I really want to see if, if this could work. So just give me a couple of weeks to see if this could work. I'm going to reach out to her. It's a crazy idea, but like maybe it'll happen. And yeah, we had picked, we, we pulled up the, the, uh, the email before we, we started this interview, but it was January 15th, 2021. So over a year ago, where I shot you this like sheepish email being like, hey, Samantha, I have a potential collaboration that I would like to talk to you about. Would you, <laughs> would you be able to do it? <laughs> yes, I'm so glad that you did. Um, it was, I mean, I was like so caught off guard. I was like, what do you mean? It was, like, this is such a new concept to me. Yeah. And um, I mean, like it was a journey for both of us, like you writing your first book and navigating all of that and me illustrating my first book. So it was like a... I, I'm really happy that we could grow together. Yeah, totally. I do feel like no this pun is intended, maybe. grow together, baby. <laughs> I do feel like this is the little book that could in terms of it's my editor's like first major book. It's my first major book. It's your first major book. My editor, shout out Gwen. She's a listener of the podcast. She's a, she's been in the publishing industry forever and has kind of guided us through. Um, but I've, heard, I've talked to so many authors who warn you about the traditional publishing process because they're like you're gonna hate your cover you're gonna hate the book after you get it edited like the process is gonna make you not like the book and like not be excited about it and I have had the polar opposite experience I feel like I'm obsessed with my editor I felt like I've had such a collaborative relationship with her I got you to illustrate it you have elevated this book with your illustrations the cover that you designed, which I really do feel like was a really collaborative experience for the two of us in terms of I had this idea, I pitched you on it. We really, the book, the cover really had several versions of itself. It, it really um, mm -hmm. 
grew. Um, but yeah, like I've, I'm so proud of it. You know, I'm so proud of the book. I'm so excited to finally bring it to people. I'm so excited to finally talk about it because it's the weirdest <laughs> thing to be working on this. And in 2022, I feel like I was so absent because I was writing for eight hours a day. Right. Um, and I'm just so excited to celebrate this and be able to have you as a partner to celebrate it. So what was, so we're going to do an Instagram live series. So everyone needs to go follow both me and Samantha, because we're doing an Instagram live series. We're going to show up every other week until the pub date of the book, which is June 7th. And we're going to do a, what are we calling it? Behind the scenes. Oh, we're doing, it's called the making of making growing off. joy. And mm -hmm. each week, Samantha and I are going to do like a quick half an hour live where we talk about a different aspect of creating the book. So one day I'll interview Samantha on her illustration process. Another day, Samantha is going to interview me on the process of actually securing the book deal and getting started. One day we'll talk about, you know, we'll have more of a conversation about our collaboration. So if you want like the details on what it's taken us to get this thing to print, um, go follow us on Instagram. But I do just want to like, ask just so people can kind of hear a little bit more Samantha like what what has your overall experience been illustrating your first book like how did it feel I know you just got a sample copy of it in the mail like how did it feel for you to see your illustration on a book cover it was wild well yeah. it was actually a really funny story about when I actually did receive it it was covered in ants and I was like, what did they douse this in? Um, yeah. Cause I was like, did they put like plants in here? Did they put seeds in here? Is there something? Mm -hmm. um, but if, if anyone's interested, I'm happy to share that photo, but it was, it is the, because I've been keeping this so close to the chest. It was just like to see your, something you worked on for like a year, like exists, like in your hands and to know that it's going to be in bookstores and plant shops and like where all, wherever else we can dream up. Like we want these in like botanic gardens. We want like this book is, is very unique because it isn't like how to like style plants, but it, I mean, there is some plant care like aspect to it, but it's also like a focus on like Maria growing over like two years. It's actually, so when we were we're going back and forth on the book. I love the the journey that you took with it because there were parts where you called Billy your boyfriend and then your fiance and then now he's your husband. Yeah. Like through the course of writing this book, like I seeing the, the early editions. And it's just like, like you, I mean, the book is called Growing Joy, but it's like Growing Maria, just like who you have like become through this. And I'm really excited to, like with these IGTVs, like tell people like about the process, because if you were to Google, like, how do you get like a book deal or like, how do you like illustrate for a book? Like there's really nothing out yeah. there. So I'm hoping this will be like a way to like share about our journey and like our process and a little bit more about us along the way. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, Samantha did such a good job. And it was really interesting, the whole process of picking what aspects, you know, cause we only could have so many illustrations. So what aspects make the cut what illustrations make the cut for me the evolution of the cover was like the most eye-opening experience because I have no eye for design so I also really had to lean on you for the design process because like to me this has always been a huge uh Achilles heel of mine like I just really don't have an eye for design I really don't see I I really don't see aesthetic very well it's just never been my gift and you have such a curated vision and such a such such experience obviously a depth of knowledge and so I really got to lean on you too like for your feedback and your thoughts and and how also watching your illustration in the process like the way that you illustrated the book kind of changed in our collaborative process as well. Like you tried a couple of different techniques and, and kind of brought these new ideas to the illustrations. Um, and it's just, it's so fun. I mean, it's such a fun, it's a really fun book. Like you said, it is a lot of personal stories, but it's a lot of practices. It's a lot of practices that anybody reading, no matter what state, no matter what level of plant parenthood you're in, different ways that you can use plants to cultivate more joy and presence in your life. Um, and just revel in Samantha's gorgeous freaking illustrations. Um, and even more exciting is that Samantha has elevated the illustrations and is making an entire growing joy line at Hemleva. Can you, can you give us a sneak peek into that a little bit? 
Yeah. Well, I want to share for IGTV and like, yes, for sure. I don't want to spoil everything, but like we, it has been so nice to talk to another human being about the design process, because even though you say you don't have an eye for design, like your feedback has been so helpful. Um, so (laughs) I'm really happy to like, look, there are going to be like some new products, um, some things that like we both kind of like, we both have envisioned from the very beginning, like even before like the published. Oh yeah. Like it, it was done. We were like talking about merchandise last year. Oh yeah. I know. I was like, Samantha, there's, there's merch. You'll be able to do merch. Like, let's do this. Um, yeah. Your concepts are so exciting. I I'm so excited to, to bring them to market with you and, and, and share them. I can't wait for, um, this cover is iconic plant friends. It's a heart that's filled with plants. It's probably the most joyful thing I've ever seen. Samantha did the most amazing job I've had from the beginning. I've had this idea of this heart filled with plants. Wait, we're, we're not going to dive into this now. Cause we're going to talk about it on the IG, but anyway, I cannot wait for the products that Samantha is going to make with this heart shaped because it's so iconic and so gorgeous. So if you guys, okay, so we're celebrating the launch of announcing growing joy to the world, um, pre-sale orders going in the announcement of our collaboration. We're celebrating in a bunch of really fun ways that we want to tell you guys about. Okay. Plant friends, including some giveaways. So number one, Go follow both of us on Instagram, Hamleva and Bloom and Grow Maria, because we are going to be doing this Instagram live series that we talked about. It's going to be super fun. I can't wait for it um, to just spill the tea. And we're going to spill the tea. We're going to really dive into it. Um, but number two, we're going to do some giveaways to, to celebrate our launch. So now these giveaways are really special because number one, whoever wins the giveaways are going to get an advanced copy of the book. So you're not just getting the book. You're going to get to read it before everyone else gets it, which is really exciting. You're going to get some form of the Growing Joy Hemleva Bloom and Grow Radio merch line, which is to be determined, but will be determined by the time this episode airs. And <laughs> you're going to... And you're going to get a free month to the Bloom and Grow Garden Society, which is crazy amounts of education that you'll get a free month to. So four lucky winners are going to be chosen in the next week between me and Samantha. So Samantha, do you want to break down? We're doing kind of two separate giveaways. So there's four four winners in two different ways. So do you want to break down what our giveaways are going to be or how of people course. can so, do Yes. So if you're signed up for our newsletters, you are enter to win. That yes. is like easy peasy. Like if you are already signed up for a newsletter, um, um, then we're going to be choosing from our newsletter subscribers. You can definitely go and sign up right now. We're going to give it uh, about a week before we pick our winner so that everyone has a chance to listen to our podcast together. Yes. And then the second way that you win, which is like pretty immediate is um, go to our in-feed Instagram post that talks about this podcast and tell us your favorite plant. Yes. That's, it. That's, That's all it. you have to do. Oh, I mean, follow us. <laughs> oh yeah. Also. Yeah. So you have to follow us. So exactly, exactly what Samantha said. So we're running this giveaway through Tuesday. This episode comes out on Tuesday, the 22nd. We're running the giveaway until Tuesday, the 29th. So you have a week to join both of our newsletters and Samantha and I are going to pick one of our newsletter subscribers to get this sweet package. And then you also have a week to follow both of us on Instagram and comment your favorite plant on one of our posts that uh, the post that we talk about the podcast episode, um, just do it all honestly. And then you get double the chances of winning. Um, so for the next week, join the newsletter and comment your favorite plant on our Instagram posts. And we can't wait to send these books to you. And this really cool merch that Samantha's developing. I'm really excited. <laughs>